Introducing C2C's brand new train, the Class 720. Built to cope with increasing commuter traffic in the City of London, as rail continues its recovery from the COVID pandemic. I'll be taking you inside this brand new train today on C2C's principal route from London to South End. Now let's get this show on the rails. Welcome to one of London's lesser used mainline terminal stations, Fenchurch Street. Having opened initially in 1841, the station was rebuilt in 1854 into the structure which you see before you. Whilst the outside of the station is architecturally pleasing, don't expect too much from the inside. To be honest, it's a rather depressing place, much like Penn Station in New York, albeit a lot smaller. There are a few shops both downstairs and upstairs on the main concourse, where we'll be heading to catch our train today. C2C hasn't implemented e-ticketing systems yet, and is one of, if not the only, operator in Britain to not have done so. So it's the classic way through the barriers for us. Despite only having four platforms and being the second least used London terminal after Marlborough, Fenchurch Street saw 17.7 million passengers during 2019 all of which stem from the station's only operator, C2C. The company has been owned by the Italian state rail operator, Trenitalia, since 2017 and runs services radiating out of Fenchurch Street to East London and the Essex coast via the London Tilbury and South End Railway. The majority of C2C services are operated using their legacy fleet of 74 Class 357 trains, which were built back in the late 90s and early 2000s. The Class 720s are principally used on peak services, though a fault with the train resulted in the set I was originally meant to take being swapped for a trio of 357 units, seed leaving now for Shubury Ness. As there are only two evening peak services operated by the 720s currently, I moved over to Platform 2, where the second service was due to the park. It also gave me a more pleasant view outside of Fenchurch Street, which frankly makes it look a lot less depressing. And incoming now is our train, a pair of Class 720s. The sets were built by Alston between 2021 and 2023, having taken over production from Bombardier in 2021. The order for these units dates back to 2017 and were originally meant to be six 10-car units, designated as Class 711s. The spec was gradually changed over the course of the order to eventually end up as 12 5-car Class 720-6 units, which is similar to the Class 720-5 units used by Greater Anglia and entered service at the end of September. The units were ordered to enhance capacity on the C2C network, as well as replace the six Class 387 units previously used with C2C, which all moved to Great Northern long before the 720s entered service. I did cover these units previously before they left C2C if you want to see what they were like. Our train is two five-car sets coupled together, and as the typical pattern is the rear unit tends to be more busy, I deliberately opted for the front unit in the hopes that it would be a more comfortable journey. Unusually for a commuter service, C2C has dedicated quiet zones on its trains, and on our 720 set, this is at the front of the train where I'm sitting. For now, I'll take my seat as we prepare to head out of central London, by the London Tilbury and South End Railway, with two stops in East London before moving on to Essex. Our train terminates at Shoebury Ness, but we'll only be going as far as a few stops before at South End Central, where we're scheduled to arrive at 18.35 UK time. I'm looking forward to finally trying these trains out, and I'm glad you're here to join me. So sit back and enjoy the ride. We depart London Fenchurch Street on time at 17.43 UK time. We follow the DLR route, which radiates out of both the nearby Tower Gateway station to the right, with the bank branch joining shortly afterwards. Our first stop of Limehouse, minutes later, sees us diverge from the DLR and further along the London Tilbury and South End line.
As we leave Limehouse, we have a view of Canary Wharf in the background, one of the world's largest financial hubs. The development of East London over the years is honestly incredible, and it's still ongoing. This is highlighted at West Ham Station, which is currently having a new station entrance being built to provide better community hub links and is expected to open by the end of 2023, if not 2024. As well as providing links to the Jubilee Line and the DLR on the lower level platforms, West Ham is also an interchange for District and Hammersmith and City Line trains, with C2C providing fast services to Barking and Upminster. We also now pass C2C's East Ham Depot, where principal maintenance is performed on the Class 357 and 720 fleets. Light maintenance is also conducted at Shoebury Ness, the final stop of our service today. While smaller in carriage numbers to the 12-car 387s C2C previously used, the 10-car 720s offer similar capacity levels due to the longer length of each carriage, and as we're at the very front of the train, we can see just how long it is as it snakes past the depot and into Barking Station. As this is a peak hour service, it operates on a limited stop basis, skipping a number of stations as seen here. I'd also like to say I hope you're enjoying the video so far, and if you are, please subscribe to the channel. It's completely free and the best way to support my work. Thanks. Right, now on to the important stuff. The features of the train. Bear in mind, this is a commuter train, so don't expect anything amazing with the seat comfort. But it's sufficient enough, and at least it isn't the unbearable idling board seats. I absolutely love the magenta colour scheme, and you have to appreciate that there's a lot more 2x2 two two seating, creating plenty of space, though there are still certain seats I would recommend avoiding. Each airline seat pair has a foldable tray with grooves for a cup holder, though the legroom on them is not particularly great. This is principally due to the support bar below, reducing the available space. All seats are equipped with a standard UK power outlet and two USB type A sockets, and whilst luggage space is limited to overhead racks, you can place luggage in between seats if needed. As with the Greater Anglia units, the passenger information systems are full of useful information relating to the journey, such as the service calling points, onward connections, and how busy the train is. For a commuter train, I love how this train's designed, certainly an improvement to the Greater Anglia units, though there are flaws with the interior which I'll get into later on. Those of you not familiar with the C2C network may be surprised to learn that despite the trains having a maximum speed of 100 miles per hour, they only ever go up to 75 miles per hour, owing to that being the maximum speed used on C2C's routes, including those in and out of Liverpool Street. We reach this top speed as we pass through the final station in Greater London, Upminster, and enter the county of Essex almost immediately after. The Tilbury portion of the London Tilbury and South End Railway can be accessed both here and from Barking through lines that diverge off the main route towards Shoebury Ness. I do think this part of the route is one of the more interesting sections of the C2C network, mainly due to there being very minimal buildings and industrial surroundings, just pure countryside as we head deeper into Essex. Our first stop in the county is Laindon one of the many commuter towns within the home county of Essex, which C2C serves. The town is also a civil parish and was based on the manor of the same name. Bringing our attention back to the interior, we can see that like the 387s, but unlike the 357s, there's a standard toilet in addition to the accessible one, as well as improved bike space. One thing that is an absolute pet peeve with these trains is the incredibly cramped 2x3 seating in the middle. The body shells are just too narrow for this type of seating. There is an increase in 2x2 two two seating compared to the Greater Anglia versions though, as I mentioned earlier, which is a huge improvement on the initial design. I also love the open gangways, which allow better movement throughout compared to C2C's legacy fleets. There is also a reasonable size wheelchair space accompanied by an accessible toilet in the fifth coach. Very useful for those with reduced mobility, though lack of level boarding is still a major flaw with the Aventra design in general. We then go on to pass Pitsy, where the Tilbury branch of the London Tilbury and South End Railway rejoins with the main portion towards South End. Shortly afterwards, we make a call at Benfleet, marking the start of the coastal route into South End and beyond, though it was at this point where the sunset was poorly timed. The views during the day of this part of the route are truly something to behold.
As you'd expect, the accessible toilet is very spacious inside and contains a lot of amenities. The toilet is also very clean. As you would expect, given the 720C very limited use of C2C and at the time of recording had only been in service for two weeks. Despite hating sensor systems, everything also works well as it should, so that's acceptable by my standards. Thumbs up! One thing I do recommend if you want a nice day out, is to do the walk between Leon C and Chalkwell stations, if the weather's nice. It's something on my list to do again when I get the free time. It's truly relaxing with both the coasts and the trains alongside whilst walking. Currently, it's low tide. And upon reaching our penultimate stop of Westcliff, I'll give you my verdict. Overall, I really like the C2C Class 720s. They really give the network new and modern trains, which are desperately needed given the current state of the 357s. That being said, the trains still fall foul in some areas, such as the cramped 2x3 seating. As for my ticket price, I paid £13.82 for an off-peak day return, including my 16 to 25 rail card discount. For a last minute journey out of central London, it's not bad in all honesty. Anyway, we arrive into South End Central right on time at 18.35. Over to you now. What did you think of C2C's brand new Class 720s? Have you had a chance to try them yet? I'd be interested to hear your thoughts below in the comments. For now, I hope you've enjoyed the video today and if you did, please like and share it to help the channel grow and please subscribe and turn on notifications for more weekly content such as this. Let's now admire the impressive acceleration as our 720 continues the journey to Shoebury Ness. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.